Lightning reveals our dark corners. Rain washes away our dust. Tell me when. <gasps> This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Into Reaction. I created the experimental tag because sometimes I find something interesting about a movie, but that's not what the movie's about. In fact, there will be times the movie has nothing to do with what I'm discussing. It's just that something about it is intriguing to me, and that's the place where I'll spend the time talking about it. And as I've already shown, I've been particularly fascinated by Jack Clayton's Something Wicked This Way Comes. And I wanted to speak about George's Delarue for a moment and his work on this movie. When composers make names for songs that they produce for film, they oftentimes name it after something happening, a distinctive event happening in a particular scene, which is to say, they don't pull names out of their ass. They have relevance to what's happening in the movie, typically. Are there exceptions? Sure. But in my experience with soundtracks, those exceptions are relatively rare. And composers tend to be very literal in naming them. So taking a look at some of the names from the soundtrack, you have titles like Holloway's Coffin, Calliope, Nighttime Carnival, Crosetti, Mirrors, Respect It, that's an interesting one. Come On, that's an alternate track. Young Miss Foley, Music Box and Cougar, Stop It, which is interesting. That may be when the lightning rod salesman was being tortured, I imagine. And this one's interesting to me. The First Witch, a reference to, more than likely, Pam Greer's The Dust Witch. But there's another track named Second Dust Witch. And remember, I've already established that these tracks are fairly literal, which is to say they're titled based on things within the movie. He didn't call it The Dust Witch Reappears. He didn't call it the Dust Witch Returns. He didn't call it The Dust Witch is Back. He called it Second Dust Witch, which to me implies literally what it says, that there was a second Dust Witch in this movie. Now, if you've seen the theatrical release, that doesn't make any sense because there's only one. But once again, I would argue that if you were to see Jack Clayton's original movie, there very well might be another Dust Witch, which is interesting and makes me want to see this movie so badly. In any case, let's listen to the track titled Second Dust Witch. Well, that was the track Second Dust Witch. And the more I learn about this original soundtrack, the more it makes me want to see John Clayton's cut of Something Wicked This Way Comes. So what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Into Reaction. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow.